That's crazy. Like, I was laughing, but I said, I'm gonna get back at him. Trailing first tattoo was when he was six months. All right, how y'all doing today? Hope you're all doing well. I ain't doing too bad. Today we're looking at a video that I saw on YouTube. Some of y'all remember the Truly channel, the beautiful, amazing Truly channel, where they just post the best content out there. But nah, basically we're taking a look at a mom who decided to tattoo her baby, her one-year-old baby. Now, I just see the title and the thumbnail. I doubt that these are real tattoos or permanent tattoos, I, but who knows? There's some crazy people out there, we'll see. But before we get into this, I just wanna say shout out to Kid Nami 201 appreciate you supporting the channel. And if you wanna shout out, I got a link in the description for y'all. And also before the video starts, chat, one of the main messages I try to push on this channel is to go to hell outside and get active. So that's why I'm partnering with my people at Vessi. That's right, everybody. Listen up. This sneaker will change your life. And I'm not just saying that because I actually had them send out a sneaker to me for me to test it out for myself to see if I liked it. And guess what? They get the poncho approval. I went and got me their gray sneaker and it's 100% waterproof, first of all. And second of all, it's made out of a material called Dymatex. And this material makes it so it doesn't even feel waterproof, but it is. So it's a whole ass waterproof sneaker but it's comfortable i never heard of something like that that's dope this sneaker has actually became my number one running shoe and i'm not just saying that i promise y'all are probably thinking i'm just supposed to say that i'm not i genuinely use these shoes to run every day over my nikes that should say everything these shoes got some swag to them too i can rock these with certain outfits it's not even just for running it's an all-around shoe that's how i look at it but yeah definitely go check out these shoes i've been wearing them every single time i run i've been wearing them when i go out sometimes great shoe poncho approved definitely go check it out i will have the link in the description for y'all to check out their website and it'll also be in the pinned comment it's vessi.com back to the video i did a maternity shoot with my brothers at a tattoo shop all the comments were negative people were saying my baby is gonna be born with a whole bunch of tattoos i was laughing but i said i'm gonna get back at him trailing first tattoo photo shoot at six months no. <laughs> My boy is swagged out. He looks like he's about to ask me where the money's at that I owed him. My family was very upset. I get a lot of backlash. People say I'm raising him as a gangster, a thug. They not used to seeing a baby with tattoos. I mean, listen, I don't think anybody has seen a baby with tattoos before if we're keeping it all the way real like people you out here saying i guess people just haven't seen a baby with tattoos before like no shit name a time in your life where you've ever seen a baby walking around tatted the fuck up it doesn't happen lady and for the people that judge me i don't care because this is a lifestyle that we enjoy correction that you enjoy the baby isn't even conscious to what's going on yet he you gotta understand the baby did, the baby didn't tell you one day hey mom i want tats i want to be walking around with my cuban this is what i want mom he's not doing that <laughs> it's goofy as fuck that she's trying to make it seem like it's a wee thing nah this is all you lady dance machine ooh, 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 ooh. what you want to wear this is trailing but most people know him as nugget world five six one ah okay so so she's one of those moms she's the type of mom that makes a social media account for her little baby ah i see what's going on here so she's tatting him up and getting him fitted up and wearing a cuban and stuff like that for the pictures oh yeah lady this is this is not anything that your son probably wants to do at heart you know there's no way of telling i'm not trying to dictate it and say ah oh, he, he doesn't want this i'm it's your kid right i would never know for all we know he could be happy but we know why you're trying to do this you want that clout he's a celebrity on tiktok he made it to 1.5 million Ooh. followers and so we appreciate that hey my name's shamika and my son Traylon. he loved to wear tattoos and i enjoy putting them on him <laughs> yeah. Traylon is one years old Traylon have tons of clothes and shoes he have over Probably like 150 sneakers. Damn, bro, that's more than me. I got like 15, maybe. <laughs> He's 10xing my ass. Hey, listen, you can have your 150 sneakers. That's all cool, but uh, the kid's foot is gonna grow. <laughs> so I don't know how good this investment really is. I know you're trying to do this because you want to get him fitted up for the pictures. I don't know. He's gonna outgrow him soon. He's a sneakerhead. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you fresh. You look good, man. I'm gonna put it on. I put on the jewelry to accessorize the outfit. I think that's perfect for today's outfit. I think Traylon loves dressing up because when he see himself dressed, he get in the mirror, he be feeling himself, he be bopping, he be dancing. So I really think he enjoys it. Yo, it's a baby love. 
You think he actually knows what's going on? You could get that baby in the mirror butt ass naked and he'd probably do the same damn thing. She's really trying to make this come off as like, ah, uh, he really enjoys it. This is his idea. Obviously, we know it's not his idea. The mom is just trying to make her baby this little Instagram puppet or something like that. Like, this shit is just goofy as hell, bro. She's trying to make it seem like the baby wanted to make the Instagram. He wanted to get famous. Like, nah, you just want money. You just want clout. Let's just say it how it is. She's completely dodging that throughout this entire video she's out here trying to compensate by saying yeah he actually wants to do this it's like bro you're talking about a one-year-old that baby can't even express himself other than saying ah oh ah. you know what i'm saying when i was eight months i did a maternity shoot with my brothers at a tattoo shop and i got bullied on social media all the comments were negative people were saying oh my baby is gonna be born with a whole bunch of tattoos he gonna have skin poison it was crazy. Like, I was laughing, but I said, I'm gonna get back at him. See, what I'm reading off of this lady is that she cares a lot about clout and about public opinion. I'm gonna get back at him because people were commenting under my picture. What? Alright. Trailing first tattoo was when he was six months. And just the detail of it, it was just so amazing. Hey, sis. Hey, y'all. Where my nugget at? Nugget! nugget. My celebrity in the fruit. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm going to get trained a new tattoo. So I want to do a photo shoot after. You know the negative comments that are going to come behind this, right? When I first started tattooing trailing, my family hated it because they don't like that I have tattoos. But now that they see it could be something positive, they love it because when we out, he get a lot of attention and kids really love the tattoos. Oh my God, yo. The kids love the tattoos. No shit, the kids love the tattoos. They're kids. They don't see the bigger picture behind this. They don't see the fact that the mom is just trying to use the kid for clout. Oh my gosh, she is trying to brand this as something else. But the real ones know. The real ones know what's going on. When Shamika came up with the idea, I wasn't down with it. I was totally against it. Until she told you that, you know, they're getting famous off it on Instagram and that they're making money. That paper will change people, y'all. I'm telling you right now. Motherfuckers do not care anymore. They don't have any type of morals. They just want to get famous. That's all people want now. And I ain't gonna lie. I kind of fell in that trap even by starting this YouTube channel. At one point, I was just kind of like, oh, I want to blow up. I want to blow up. I want to blow up. I blew up. And then I realized half my soul was damn near gone. I was like, is this really worth the trade-off? So nowadays, I just be expressing myself but that's not the point right we're talking about the lady here she is clout hungry i did not want her to do that with him but since i seen where it could take her in trailing i didn't have no issue with it because it turned out to be a positive thing how is it a positive thing if everybody's out here commenting on your page Yo, why are you exploiting your kid? That's what I want to know. In what way is it a positive thing? I get that you're probably making some money off this, but if it's coming from making your baby your little IG puppet, I don't know how to feel about it. You ready to go? Yeah, he ready to go. Alicia help out with Nugget when I'm at work. And she can't control him. <laughs> He's so spoiled. Oh, don't be giving my sugars away. The very first time Shamika told me about the tattoos, my first reaction was, they're gonna call DCF on you. The backlash was horrible. It hurt my feelings, cause I know I'm not a bad mom. And I got called all type of names, like it was, it was crazy. He'll be a gangster. He'll be a gangster. He gonna get um, shot down in the street. Street, it like. I, I don't want to speak too much on that, but if, if the jewelry that your baby is wearing is real, yo, there's some crazy people out here. Dude, there was a rapper the other day that got shot for a $3,000 chain. $3,000 for a life. So really, if the chains are real and the Cubans are real, yo, that's not really a crazy outlandish comment. It was some bad comments. Some bad comments. Um, we're raising him up for prison. Yeah. yeah. It was just bad all around. But we didn't regret it. I'm proud of Shamika of the life that she's making for Trailing because she's trying to pass on a legacy. A legacy. Yo, I'm, I'm gonna need some more explaining here. She don't want her childhood to be his childhood. She wants better for her son. So yes, I'm very proud of her. 
Ready to go to the tattoo shop? What's up, bro? What's going on? Nugget, this is what I came up with. Little, little uncle's all got for you. Ooh, big boy. You like it? I've done Shamika's tattoo. I've done her, her stomach, big cover up, and I've also done her legs. And that's where the video ends. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I honestly think that she's exploiting her kid and kind of using him as a puppet because she's saying stuff like, oh, I'm passing on a legacy, but the kid probably isn't the one making the money in this situation. It's you. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like if you want to. And if you want to see more content of mine, I got it on the screen for y'all and I'll catch y'all. See ya.